Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is Stanford Core NLP and we are going to create a program using the Stanford Core NLP, uh, the basic APIs and we are going to see what it does and how uh, we are using natural language processing using a Java project. Okay, so if you had seen my previous video, we saw what is uh, natural language processing and we saw a little bit about the Stanford Core NLP. So in this video, we are going to use those uh, Stanford Core NLP libraries and we are going to create a small project and we are going to run that project with the Stanford Core NLP and we are going to see how a sentence uh, is parsed and what we get out of the Core NLP library. Okay, so I'll just uh, refresh again what is the Stanford Core NLP. So Stanford Core NLP is a library which Stanford University has created and made it open source. So this library is going to have all the natural language uh, processing capabilities. So this pro particular project is evolving right now. So it's not that, okay, this, this is completed and you can go ahead and use it and it will work for every scenario. So um, natural language processing as a whole is evolving. Uh, as you guys know, artificial intelligence is the um, latest thing and it, it's getting evolved. So Stanford has created a library and they are um, uh, getting contributions from different open source communities and students and stuff like that. So right now they have uh, released lots of versions. So they are having different um, processing capabilities in the natural language processing library. So if you go to this particular link uh, in the GitHub, so this is their official link. So they have all details about what are the different um, ways or tools which the core NLP has to process the um, uh, language. Okay. So in general, this uh, if you see this particular core NLP jar, it is almost 200 plus MB. Okay, so uh, that shows how much um, amount of uh, coding is there inside that particular jar, right? So and how much amount of uh, natural language processing capabilities are there embedded inside the particular jar. Uh, so in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to use a typical example which they have given. So before going into that, we will see some um, basic tools which are there, right? So there is something called named entity recognition. So named entity recognition is nothing but you split a sentence into different parts and identify what makes sense. So if you notice this particular example which they have here, so it says that uh, the president Z, um, Xi Jinping is a person and China is a location. So these are um, basically named entity recognition. So the natural language processing library it's able to identify that okay this is a name of a person and this is the name of a location same way it is able to identify uh, what is the date and what is the time okay so that is the natural uh, that that is the capability of the uh, named entity recognition so this is one type of tool so like, there are different types of tools similar way so there is something called core reference so you can relate it to uh, different sentences or different words in the same sentence Okay, and same way dependency. So you can identify um, the parts of speech, right? You can identify what is a verb or uh, you can identify the dependency between different words and stuff like that. There are lots of other uh, uh, annotators. So you can see parts of speech, um, lemmatization, and then you have the named entity recognition. There is something called named entity regex recognition. So all these are all documented here. If you go to the uh, specifics, right? For example, this is specific for a part of speech. So uh, as you guys know, part of speech is nothing but um, it identifies um, in a sentence, it, uh, we can split each and every word and uh, basically you can tokenize each and every word and identify whether it is a noun or a verb or an adjective or so stuff like that. So the software has the capability to split a sentence into give that way because um, that is how natural language processing works, right? Because I might speak in a different language, you might speak in a different language and also I might uh, the the way I tell could be completely different so the way you ask something the way I ask something is completely different but still both might uh, be, be both might be resulting in the same solution right so that is why natural language capabilities are required um, so that the machine can learn itself and identify that okay okay if if somebody asks about this uh, I need to answer this even though if he has a different um, word in his context I should still be able to answer the same way so that is what machine learning and natural language processing are all about. So let's go ahead and create a project. So before that, I'll, I'm going to show you where I'm going to take the example from. So I'm going to use a simple core NLP API, which they are providing. So I, I'll leave the link of these URLs in the description below. So you can go ahead and check it out. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a program with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a Maven project. So let me open IntelliJ. 
So I'll just quickly create a Maven project so that we can get started. Okay. So I'm gonna say com tech primers that NLP. I'm gonna say core NLP example. Okay, let me finish it and let it open. Okay, so there is nothing else in this project. So I'm going to add the dependencies. So I already have created a live template. So if you notice here, I've just created this already. So, so I'm going to add uh, these three jars. Okay. So these are the three jars which core um, NLP provides. So I have already downloaded the jars because it's 200 MB almost. So it might take a while, right? So I have already uh, downloaded that into my Maven repository. So it should not take uh, take much time for me so that I can show you guys easily. So I'm going to create a simple class called core NLP example. Okay. And let's start writing some code, right? So before that, we need to identify what we need to write. So this is the um, example which I have taken. So I have taken the Stanford Core NLP API. Okay. So we are going to what we are going to do is we are going to create annotators. Okay. So if you notice here, this is what we are going to do. We are going to use this code which is there here. Okay. Let me copy paste and then I'll explain what it each does. Okay. Let's do the Maven import. Let me import it and I will. I think still the project has not downloaded the jars. Why is it so? Let me re import. It is showing the dependencies, but it is not able to identify why. I'm not sure. Is it because I haven't enabled the dependency management or why, 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 why? Not sure why this is not working right now. Let me. <coughs> so let's import this and try I'm not sure why that is not coming right okay so it has got detected right now I think it should be okay so what we are doing here is uh, what we are doing here is we are creating a properties so this is nothing but a Java util property basically okay and in the property we are setting something called annotators so that is the key okay for the annotators we are giving different different types of annotators so these are different types of annotators the uh, parts of speech the like uh, lemmatization the named entity recognition then you want to parse it and then correlation so these are different um, types of annotation which I was mentioning right you can different types of uh, these are annotators basically so you can uh, add whatever you want and the properties are going to be fed to the core NLP library if you notice here the properties are now fed into the library so this particular class is coming from the Stanford core NLP library okay and we are just creating it as a pipeline so this is going to be a pipeline so we are going to put the um, create a pipeline we are going to give some text to it so let's say I'm going to create a text right so what is the weather in Bangalore right now okay so I'm just um, creating this particular text okay so we are going to do annotation so we are saying okay we are going to create a document with that text so this annotation is coming from the Stanford core library you have to create an annotation and feed that annotation to the pipeline so you have to say pipeline or annotate and then give that annotation 
okay so next thing what we need to do is we need to parse these annotations right so that's what we are going to do here so this is the code which we have here already as an example so that is what we are going to use as well okay let me import everything okay so everything is important so what we are doing here is from the annotated document right we are getting the sentence annotation so we are going to use sentence sentence annotation so it returns something called core map okay core map is another um, uh, what do you call a wrapper class or a some, uh, something like that which um, stanford uses for enclosing stuff so it's it's like a map but it is not the map okay so it, it puts everything into the core map and from the core map we need to take objects out of it so if you notice here the core map gives the sentences okay so if you had multiple sentences it gets multiple sentences it gets split uh, into multiple sentences and that will be pushed here so in our case we are going to give only one sentence right now but um, you can um, do multiple sentences as well okay so every for every sentence what we need to do is now we need to get uh, the tokenized annotation so that is what we are doing here so we need to get the uh, tokenized annotation so we basically say token annotation so you just do another get okay and it returns something called core label okay core label is something similar to core map but core label has other features so if you notice here it's a class uh, core map was an interface core label is a class from that core label again we can get the text annotation parts of speech named entity so these are extracted out of it so basically this core label is a class which has all the tokenized uh, values and from that value we are going to get everything okay so what i'm going to do is uh, here is i'm going to print everything so let me print what do i need i need word then i need parts of speech so let me put this in some format okay I need parts of speech and then I have named entity recognition so I'm just going to print these so word parts of speech and then named entity recognition so I'm going to enclose this format okay so that's it why this is complaining okay I think I need to close. okay so what we're going to do here is we are going to run this program okay so what we have done here is we are giving this particular sentence what is the weather in Bangalore right now to the core NLP library and we are going to extract different tokens from that library and we are going to see what is the value of each token after it has passed and also we are going to try some two three other examples to see how is it different from the previous examples and stuff like that okay this is how the core NLP basically works so based on this tokenization and based on these values and the named entity pairs we can process our logic so based on the uh, result which the uh, parts of speech and the word and the name named entity recognition returns we can um, use that value for further processing so if you notice here what has happened is uh, for what for the word what there is nothing so there is something called WP so that WP will be corresponding to a particular type of uh, parts of speech so let's see there should be something example da, 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 da. parts of speech so there is a parts of speech uh, wf right what is that So let's go to that sheet and then so that we can uh, relate it to what it means, right? So, do, do, do. so these are the different things, but I don't see any shortcuts. Let's let's see what are the, the, the VBZ. So let me search by VBZ. VBZ. Yeah, I think this should give us. So there are different. Yeah, okay. So these are the ones which we wanted. So there are different uh, abbreviations for each of them. So for example, in the first one, we got... Um, WP so WP is nothing but pronoun okay WH pronoun so basically uh, we asked a question what right so that is that is why it is a WP 
okay so next one is 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 uh, vbz I, I suppose it should be verb so vbz is nothing but verb third person singular present so is is corresponding to a third person singular present so that is why it is vbz so this is the parts of speech right so po is parts of speech and named entity it didn't find anything that's why it is sh showing showing zero uh, the next word is d for d, d it is dt so dt is nothing but data minor okay next one is weather so weather is nnp so nnp is proper noun singular okay same way any any zero in is in uh, in is nothing but preposition or subordinating conjunction okay the next one is bangalore so bangalore is nothing but nnp so named entity whatever um, proper noun and singular right so named entity is showing as location which is what we wanted right so uh, the API identified that in this particular sentence Bangalore is a location and right now if you see it is saying date and now also it has identified that it is date RB is let's see what is RB RB is uh, adverb so based on this we can do R processing so this core NLP is now using natural language processing and splitting using different tools so here we have used two different tools parts of speech and the named entity recognition to extract um, data out of that particular word okay that is what we did so for each and every word it has identified that okay what is the parts of speech and what is the named entity recognition and based on this we can write our logic so for example I can write my logic saying if it is an NP and if it is location do whatever we want if it is RB and do a date do whatever you want or uh, if, if let's say the uh, information is not uh, proper you can again post a question so that user can give that again and then you can do something like that so if you take a Siri or Google now right so that is how they work so they work on the same concept they might be using different API's but Stanford API is uh, more popular and many people use that and there are uh, lots of contributions happening to the Stanford core NLP library and if you are um, uh, if you want to try natural language processing in your project or if you want to try it out you can go ahead and try this out the only glitch would be the jar is 200 MB so just uh, be patient to download that for the first time when you are um, importing it into your project uh, I will push this particular code into the github repository where I put all my code you can take it from there and you can try it out as well but for now uh, this is what it means so the core NLP is the library which is available as an open source you can use it to um, give a sentence and then you can use different annotating tools to tokenize each word and identify what type of word it is and based on that word you can now process your your um, messages so based on that word you can now write your own logic to process them okay so that is what I wanted to show in this particular video so if you like the video go ahead and like it if you uh, like the channel and haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe to it if you want me to make um, videos on any particular topic go ahead and drop that in the comments below I'll be able to see and reply to you whenever I see it okay that's it for this particular video. Hope you guys understood what is core NLP and you will be able to um, relate it to what people talk as machine learning and natural language processing. Okay, that's it for this particular video. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.